Want to save a lot on your energy bills? Want to have some fun? Well, with the DTE Interactive Home, you can do both. From the attic to the basement, bedroom to backyard, the Interactive Home has tips, tools, programs, and products to save money in every room of the house. It's one of the few ways you can have fun and save money at the same time. Visit DTEinteractivehome.com today. DTE. On the More Mojo podcast today, we're going to address some dirty, dirty words, and we're going to talk about mistakes we've made on the air and maybe some mistakes we've made at our job that you didn't even realize were mistakes. That mojo ain't no good. Good morning or good evening or whatever it is where you're listening this morning or afternoon or evening. See, I already screwed up. I knew as soon as I started this thing. What do you mean? Good afternoon, well, good evening, it could good be, Yeah, just everything. Well, I'm not supposed to say I take people out of their element if they're listening at bedtime and I say good morning. Now it's like, fuck, you just like messed it all up for you everybody. Think some, you think yeah. somebody's really going to shut off the podcast if they hear good morning <laughs> and go, mm, or, no, it wasn't who's... the correct time. Who's listening before bed? That's the bigger question. Well, people, yeah. I know so many people listen to those murder mystery podcasts right before bed. I'm like, what is it going don't. on in your mind? Because then you're going to be, you're not going to be able to fall asleep. No, I fall asleep just fine. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> How do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you're a serial killer. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> it's uh, always the people you least suspect. That's right. <laughs> My kids have been calling me a momster lately. Uh-oh, Not why? monster, because I'm mean. No. Because I yell. Monster's the best. <laughs> it just cuts like, deep to the heart. Yeah, but then it makes me more aggravated. They're like, monster's back. <laughs> 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 I got to give them credit for creativity. Yeah. Anyway. Bonus. Somebody fed them that, you think? Like, I don't know. There's in the kids' network I think Lucy somewhere. Cre- they, yeah. They share it with each other at school. Like, you really want to get your mom mad? <laughs> Call her a monster. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, obviously, Mojo's not here. He's uh, on vacation in beautiful, sunny Florida oh, while we good. all enjoy. Mm. Yeah, all good for you. <laughs> we're enjoying a couple inches of snow. Um, but we were talking about uh, what a mess it was here in the studio where, you know, we all shuffle job roles here and and then i'm running all the controls which i normally don't do so listeners are always gifted with some extra <laughs> dead air or two things running at the same time oh and they let us you guys let us know it's so nice yeah, of like them the text yeah. screen that's yeah. on our wall is like what is going on spike where's bring mojo back <laughs> <laughs> they, they always say it like we don't know that you know right that right. the board is exploding right now and uh, I made a mistake. It's so it's so funny because, you know, every time I think I got it down, the next day the rules change on this board and things fire off without me touching it. And I'm like, I don't know what to expect anymore. It's about half human error and half we're running Windows 95 on a 1970s radio board. It is. It's like Shannon will be in here watch me push, push, push. I'm pushing a button. Well, I even said yesterday i was watching you do that and nothing was happening and i'm like i swear i'm watching him i didn't want you to get in trouble I'm thank like, you he's doing the right thing this this one time he actually is not messing up <laughs> but it's so easy to mess up because i'm trying to think of things i'm supposed to talk about and things i'm supposed to push on the board at the same time whereas mojo's like jedi master in here because you do it every day it's secondhand nature he doesn't have to think about it it's like a pilot or it's like riding a bike where he just yeah. doesn't have to think about what button to push he just already knows because he does it every single morning for 20 three years and it's uh, his routine so for me I'm like you know lighting my hair on fire in here but <laughs> it's enjoyable I think it uh, gives everybody a good laugh because nobody's perfect you're all glad it's not nah. me <laughs> it's not me doing it Shan- but we've all I mean we've all screwed up at our job you know what I mean yeah yeah we've but all it's had those moments most people don't have the job that three million people know when you screw up where they all hear it mm-hmm. and, and it's like very evident mm-hmm so and then they let you know some of us are perfect so <laughs> yeah yeah megan doesn't have any problems <laughs> i love mike in your story words yesterday you were on social media you were pointing out these road signs that there was a mistake on yeah so m dot apparently in uh and a bunch of their signs like i don't know who i'm sure they look over it a hundred times but somebody forgot to uh, or misspelled grand rapids what? So an exit <laughs> sign right now out of coopersville off of 96, 96 says Grand Rap Dips or something like oh that. Oh, no. 
it's like just a little mess up, but like it's it's one of those things where you know somebody has to look over that like fourteen <gasps> times. Yeah. That's a they, really big. Yeah, that's a bad one. And even when installing <laughs> the sign, the workers didn't even read it. Obviously, it went through a lot of eyes without anybody noticing. And there's a mistake, much like radio, that everybody knows is going to be hundred thousand commuters every day that see your mistake. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. How many days we should? Oh, that's a good game if for gambleholics here. We should all gamble on how long it'll stay up before they replace it. Because you know, it's not that uh, hard to spell. No. Right. No. Like, there's it's just, worse cities to it's try a to major misspell. Michigan city. Yeah. Well, they had all the letters, so then the stamping plant, they obviously just put them in the wrong order. Like, did you ever see on the road signs that painted on the road, I've seen merge spelled wrong because they paint one letter at a time. So they put the G and the R in the wrong spots, and they must have been like standing upside down when they put them on and didn't realize it. So it's just one of those things. It's not like. They didn't know how to spell it. They just put them in the wrong order. Yeah. Merg. Merg. That's exactly what it said. Merg. And in your brain, your brain makes the, the fix for you. When you see it, you don't even really pay attention because you know what it's supposed to say. And, you know, it, so you just, they probably didn't notice. <laughs> I don't know. Shannon, do you have a mistake over there that, uh, you, that you've done in a job that the whole world sees? And you're like, oh. I said fuck the other day on the air. Oh, that's yeah, right. Did. Oh, yeah, that's like, right. Like, I didn't even realize I said it. You were so stressed, <laughs> and it literally made my whole I day. I have <laughs> never, I'm not joking. I've been in radio since 2004. I have never said fuck with such <laughs> conviction than I did that day. It's and so I, I like, it, it came out, it's like, when you don't think you're going to fart and the fart comes out and you're like, holy shit, what just happened? <laughs> That's what just, that was my face. Like, what did I just do? Oh, God. And the best is. Help me. I'm going to get fired no. and the radio station is going to get nah. fined and there will be no more Channel 955. Like, <laughs> like we've ever. all slipped. I've slipped. Mojo slipped. But the one person, the angelic. Shannon, who never uses potty language no, on her social I media. Oh yeah, I mean, I I do kind of have a little bit of a potty. Oh yeah, off the air. a little. But it's yeah. never slipped on there. So when you said yeah, it, we all I, looked at you like, Ooh, <laughs> "Dad's gonna get you in trouble." And there's such a there's such a pit in your stomach when anybody swears on there, especially like like on this end where you only like you're hearing it, so I don't get to see your face or or, or, or anything like that. So when you say it, it hits, and I'm like, "Oh, I gotta hit all the buttons. I, hit I, all the buttons." It creates it. problems for you guys. I I really felt bad. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, well, God. and it's just. It's Literally language. It's one. natural. It's, it, listeners, every day, listeners curse on our show, and we have to bleep yeah. it out because yeah. there's still those archaic FCC fines that say if one of those dirty words makes it on the air, they're going to fine us a million dollars because yeah. it'll make the world impure if they hear those for the first time ever. And Do you so, ever think there'll be a day where those words are allowed? Yeah. Where we can say shit, oh, yeah. fuck, damn, all well, that. The, the, the line has I mean, moved so damn. much. We can say bitch. We can say damn. You can say damn. You can say God. Yeah. yeah. But you cannot say goddamn. Yeah. Right. You can right. say so ass, weird. but you can't say asshole. But well, you can say a hole. Like for listeners of this podcast, you don't understand. There's right. no written definition of what words are forbidden, which ones are not prohibited. It's all, quote unquote, the government says you'll know vulgarity when you hear it. Well, of course, it's by like a society standards. standards. Yeah. yeah. So really, wow. nobody nobody gets in trouble unless a bunch of people write to the FCC and say, this, these people are talking. And it happens once in a while. They get a complaint. And it's so funny because our boss has shown us complaints people write like, your morning show said the word uterus. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> really? And all the dirty things we've said. But it's just all up to the public perception of what's naughty and what's not. And the line has changed. No, we've said things on the air this week that we would have never said 10 years ago, 20 years ago, because I think social media has changed. Primetime TV has changed. And, of course, even... You know, what people allow their kids to digest has changed. Yeah. Where they used to be like, oh, and it's so funny every time we read those FCC complaints the day after the Super Bowl and people go, oh, that halftime show, she was, Shakira was half naked and I'd like you to, it's like, come, like, I want to meet those people that took the time to write those complaints. Yeah. I mean, as a parent, if I, if I saw that that was happening and I felt uncomfortable with it, or if I, like, there are so many things on this show, I would never let my kids yeah. hear. You, and if you, you do, you it turn off. it off and they we, don't get you anymore. We kept getting, I don't know if you guys saw on your text screens, Mike and Megan, but we kept getting complaints about six on sex today and, and people were, well, one person in particular texted Six on sex needs to be played later. And I'm like, it's 9.15. We're only on the air till like 
10, 10, 30. We wait until right. the You know last... Six on Sex. You know that music. You but we probably wait until should the last change. public, the, all the youngest kids are all in school by that point. So anyone left is too young to understand because they're not even in school yet. They're preschool age. So if you're driving around your preschool, they don't know what we're talking about. It's over their head. And if yeah, they're not in school, it's your fault for leaving it on the radio. <laughs> what right. are the few shows that actually does take that into like, yeah. a, a factor in planning our right. show? Yeah, because it's most like of us are parents. Of, mm-hmm, a lot of shows will play that segment at 7 a.m. Right. And we won't because there are kids around. Right. So that's always funny to me when people are like, you don't think about that. I'm like, actually, we actually do. a lot yeah. of thought into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so to those textures, Shannon would like to say, Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) We're allowed to say it in the podcast. (laughs) The one that always makes me laugh is like when we say bitch and then we'll go into a song that has the word bitch edited. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. (laughs) We can say it, but the songs can't. I was just thinking of that last week because these songs were edited, you know, whenever the song came out, the standards Mm -hmm. were different. So Britney Spears can't say, I'm Britney, bitch, because in, in 1999 or 2002, whenever that song came out, we used to bleep that song and they they provide us the record label gives us the bleep version because they know what standards are at the time now of course it's a joke you know and i I always laugh at that (laughs) of what gets through and what's still in the computer that's bleeped out and like now we could probably play it it's just they never bothered to make a new album you know i guess we could do the album version semi-charmed life which i know is so old third eye blind but mojo will play it from time to time on a friday for like a throwback and they bleep out what do they bleep out bump bumped it what do they bleep out? Oh, yeah. Anything drug always, related. Anything drug like. related. Oh, yeah. 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 I but always... skeet, skeet is allowed. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me those people didn't know what skeet meant when they were right. making the edited version. <laughs> My favorite is me. there's always a bunch that get through because if they had to make a radio edit, they went for the obvious words that are shout at you and you hear the curse word, but they don't. Like, I always laugh that... Uh, Without Me by Eminem. They bleep out a little bit of weed mixed with some hard liquor, you know, some vodka that'll jumpstart my heart quicker. But then the next verse, she's talking about, um, I mean, Eminem is rapping on, uh, he says, come on, dip, bum on your lips, fuck that, come on your lips and some on your tits. And they, they bleep out fuck, they bleep out tits, but they forgot to bleep out come on your lips. And it's, you know, and I think they were so worried about the next line where it goes, fuck you, Debbie, (laughs) talking to his mom. And they like to that day, 20 years later, it's it was 2002. They still don't have that on the radio. (laughs) Right. And uh, how about famously Nicki Minaj and her starships says her name. And her name got bleeped out because they thought she was cursing. Yeah. (laughs) She's like, that's literally my on my birth certificate. That is my name. (laughs) And that's my favorite when. Um. Performers on like live award shows like the Grammys, they say we're gonna do the song as it's intended. We're gonna do the out- full version, and they curse through the whole thing. And then there's some poor guy in a control booth that has to bleep half the song because they don't know the lyrics. And every time they think they hear something dirty, they just hit the button. It's just the worst possible performance. If I were the artist, I would just be like, you know what? I'm gonna try my best to do a clean version here because I want people to hear the damn song. Yeah. But, but like you guys said, any kid can go on YouTube and look at it. Like, yeah. I don't even understand yeah. why we're so harsh about it if there's not stricter rules on streaming stuff online. Which I'm I'm grateful that there isn't. Like, don't get right. me wrong, I don't want those in place, but it just seems counterintuitive. Well, and Shannon and Mike know this because when my girls were little, they would sing along to some of the radio songs that were yeah. just so dirty. Oh, I mean, Gail is is yes. really tough. My kids oh, yeah. love F that song. You and your mom. And, 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 they, and we don't bleep that part, but I'm like, oh God, like if she's singing that at school, right. which she is, I know she is, it's... It's we such a reflection. It. What did you change to, it to? We had to do, hey, you. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> the kids' bop version. That's yes. so good. <laughs> we'll sing it. I'll sing it along with and her. And the you... Lord and the Son <laughs> and the yeah, Holy and Spirit. I remember my dad letting me watch hella inappropriate movies, and mm-hmm. nobody seems to have a problem with that. No. It's, <laughs> I, I raise my kids to, like, you don't make a big deal about the dirty words. Yeah. I try and teach them to be appropriate and not be offensive in front of other kids or other adults at school. You have to know your place and everything. But the bigger the deal you make of it, the more they're going to want to say it and the more they're going to want to curse. And it's I'm more worried about the, the bad messaging of some songs than I am just a dirty word. I mean, every other line in Austin Powers is essentially a sex joke, and I watch that movie th- 10,000 times growing up. Yeah, but up. look what you turned into now. I mean, oh, well, yeah, I'm a monster. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> 
I'll let my kids. I mean, at this point, just about anything they're allowed to listen to except Shannon and the Dirty when she says fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Next week looks like the perfect time to plant my new tree. Well, I hope you're using your phone to plant a tree. To call Miss Dig at 811. They send out a crew to mark underground utility lines. Oh man, I never even thought about that. Don't just think about it. Call. It's fast, easy, and it's the law. To stay safe, call 3 days ahead of your project. Give me that number again. Miss Dig at 811 or go to missdig811.org. DTE